Hello friends, I have excellent news. We are going to be doing some extra videos because we're going to be growing something special. So I'll give you a clue to what our videos are going to be about. What do you think Mrs. Nelson now has in her house? We're going to live in here. them through the window we have caterpillars which are one day going to become butterflies so we currently have six caterpillars in here you can see all of them some of them are up top so this stuff at the bottom is their special food they were sent with so they're going to eat those and then they've started pooping and there are already a couple of webs in there like they're starting to think about making their cocoon because what happens is first the butterflies lay the eggs and then they become tiny caterpillars and then they eat and eat and eat and then they're going to spin their chrysalis or their cocoon and then they're going to change or morph into a butterfly that will go and eat some of the nectar and the flowers and they're going to pollinate the flowers so they can grow more flowers so if you did summer school with me last year we've already done this but the butterflies we had at summer school were monarch butterflies. These are painted lady butterflies, so they look a little bit different in color, but they're gonna do the same thing. They started off as an egg, then they're gonna be a caterpillar, and then you can see they're gonna make the chrysalis, and then they're gonna hatch, and then they're gonna become painted lady butterflies. So, there are some instructions. And we should probably read the instructions. All right. We have to remember to handle the caterpillar cup very gently, which means Jack Jack is not going to be allowed to play with the caterpillars. He's not very gentle. The caterpillars have to go in a warm spot, but not in direct sunlight. So Mrs. Nelson needs to find a safe place to do this. While growing, caterpillars may suspend themselves in gray-white webbing, which is a good sign. The webbing helps protect the caterpillars. So they kind of got a little bit of webbing going on already, if you can see it. It looks kind of like spider webs. So this is going to be their house. So what we're going to do when I'm not showing you the butterflies, they're going to go in the door and they're gonna rest in their house. When they make their chrysalises or their cocoons, Mrs. Nelson's gonna take the top off and they're all gonna be hanging off this fabric. And then we're gonna tape the fabric right up here so we can watch the chrysalises and see if they hatch. So I'm gonna to have to go outside and get them a stick because when they become butterflies, they're gonna to like to see a stick. And they like to kind of hang and rest on it. Although once we have all of them hatched, we're going to let them go outside. So that will be quite a fun and spectacular video. All right. So on the bottom of this is a chart to keep track of what our butterflies are doing. So right now, they are what? Are they eggs? Are they butterflies? Are they a cocoon? They are caterpillars, and they are going to be caterpillars for 7 to 12 days. So we're going to be doing quite a few videos with caterpillars. So we're going to mark on our chart that they are currently caterpillars, which is a squiggly line. Day one, 
We have a squiggle line. And then when they become butterflies, we'll be able to do, let's see. Oh, chrysalis, we draw an oval. Then when they're an adult, we draw a butterfly shape. So that is what we're going to do. So like I said, these are painted lady butterflies. So a couple things they want us to know about painted lady butterflies. They live on every part of the world except Antarctica and Australia. And they like flowering plants like thistles. So our butterflies we got last year at summer school, they could only eat milkweed. These guys can eat a couple different plants. So that's good to know. And when it's cold, they like the monarch butterflies, the painted lady butterflies like to fly down to Mexico too. They fly very fast. They can fly 100 miles a day at nearly 30 miles an hour. So that's about as fast as your car when you're driving through town. Ooh, and a lot of things like to eat them, like wasps, mantises, birds. So we'll have to make sure we keep them very safe while they're here. All right. So that is all today for our butterflies. So I'm going to put them in their house and we will check in on them again tomorrow. And I'll tell you a few more facts about butterflies. So every day now, we're going to be checking in on our butterflies. So say goodnight, caterpillars.